Well, for years, I, I mainly painted figures. And then I thought that I could kind of represent the human condition with animals. And when you work with a figure, we want to know, oh, that doesn't look like, oh, his face isn't right. But animals, you can kind of stretch them out and kind of make them animated and, and everything. And people seem to be able to respond to their pet. And, that, you know, everybody's had a dog when they're growing up or the neighbor's dog. Or, so it's, it's, a, it's a way to, to bridge into the narrative with, with people. You know, honestly, I don't consider myself an animal artist. I, for me, it's just kind of an excuse to, uh, to paint abstractly on clay. Ed, Big Daddy Roth, was a big influence in my life. His, his family house was, was next door to mine. Back in the 70s, I moved to Northern California, and uh, one of the first galleries that I visited was the candy store gallery in Folsom. And at that time, the, all the, the funk artists were there, from, mainly from Davis, the DeForest, Gilhooly, Robert Arneson, Peter Vandenberg. And I'm looking at their work and wow, this is exactly kind of where I'm coming from. But my, my influence was, was more of a Los Angeles anti-Disney feel from Big Daddy Ross. So I, for some reason, I, I kind of blended in with them. Fast forward to 2012-13, Colleen opens this gallery, and she grew up as a little girl going there with her parents and buying artwork, so I have this uh, incredible respect for her because she really understands, you know, fine art, and especially Northern California art. 